This is Rotoplasma, Watch the World Decay, written in 2003. If you click on 512 by 512, it makes it bigger. So let's do that. This is all in the web archive. And uh, uh, this was prior to... I, I had already thought up YouTube at the time, but I hadn't... Uh, gotten the chance to contact Chad Hurley uh, or find any other funders. So if I hit B, uh, click on it, I can, well first of all clicking on it allows me to change the source plasma. So there you go. Uh, clicking and dragging does that. So. Then if I hit B it turns off one of the algorithms and the blur is gone. This may not be visible on uh, all systems, but uh, or through the video rather, uh, but uh, you know it's neat, and uh, you can play with this. It's uh, in the web archive. Um, I'll post a link to the video description. But uh, you can see the different source information yields different results, and so here we have a. Uh, an animation. These are all created on the fly, uh, you know, just by using roto blitting and uh, a plasma technique. Uh, let's let's start with a new fresh one. So if I go to the upper left, it becomes a simpler source uh, plasma, and uh, if you click on the lower right, it's a very complex plasma. So you can see the plasma is very bright, and. Then as I move this way, it becomes darker. So, uh, sometimes it'll get caught in a loop, like you see there, but then something will jitter it and it becomes this static y form. But if you applied the blur with B again, uh, it changes the output and uh, becomes a different source uh, or, or different animation. Uh, very, very much like, you know, an acid trip or something. In fact, uh, the very first plasma program I ever ran was something called Acid Warp. You were supposed to build a Fresnel lens to project it from your CRT monitor onto the wall. It was kind of neat, little uh, DIY project, DIY, do it yourself, whatever, DIY. Um, yeah. And so it'll just continually, without even clicking, it'll cycle through various uh, states as it, you know, uh, you know, sprays paint all over the place. And uh, oop, looks like it froze there. It's an old program, so who knows how much longer it'll survive. But uh, there you have it. There's another one. Click down here. Anyway, if you turn off the blur, it can create some interesting effects on its own, in a, using a different technique. And then if you hit L and T, T is zero zero, and L. Oh, this don't work. Let's make sure. T L. Oh, it doesn't work. Sorry, I guess T and L don't work. Uh, but yeah, turning blur back on, you can see some different effects. Blur basically simulates anti-aliasing. Uh, using a uh, table technique. Uh, I forget the name of it. There's a name for it. So, anyway, experiences in real-time, time-based software. And procedural animation.
Static and I hit blur. And then Excuse me. By the way, uh, Swiss Groove is a great uh, place to listen. Also, SmoothBeats.com, great stuff. So it says up here, uh, combinations of super fast blur by Quasi Mondo, uh, Roto blitting by Future Crew, and uh, random midpoint displacement fractal. Take care.